Okay, guys, it's time for story time with Tiny. I know you've been missing me, but I got a good one for you. This is the story of the time I accidentally competed in the Miss Mississippi pageant. Random, I know, but let me just kick this off to you like this. When I graduated from college, I moved to a small city called Hattiesburg, Mississippi. In Hattiesburg, there was a mall, and in that mall, there was a store called Body Central. Some of y'all not even old enough to remember Body Central. But I was at the register one day, and this nice, sweet-looking lady walks in, and she asks me if I have any talents. Now, I'm already confused, because I'm fresh out of college, and sis, if you think I'm about to start stripping, look, times ain't got that hard yet. You ain't got to ask me no questions like that. <laughs> but, but she wasn't tripping like that. So she was like, well... I'll run this pageant and we need some extra girls if you want to be a warm body. I was like, excuse me. They already had the girls who had been prepped and primed since they were three years old. What they needed was a bunch of extra girls to make sure that they were holding a legal pageant. Now, me and my parents are super close. So I told them about the pageant, but I said, hey, don't worry about coming down because I'm not going to win. I'm just a place filler, basically. If you know anything about supportive parents, what do you think they did? I'll give you time to give me a, a good answer. Yeah, they showed up to the pageant. Y'all, I didn't even have no clothes for the pageant. A lady that owned a dress shop nearby had to donate my dresses, shoes, and jewelry, like the whole nine. I had to do my own hair and makeup. I had to wear a raggedy half wig. There's no way I'm gonna win, right? So my parents have driven four hours to watch me compete in this pageant that I got into accidentally because they didn't have enough girls to complete the whole competition. And I just feel like I look a mess in these borrowed gowns and these borrowed shoes and this raggedy hair. They come up to the talent portion and I sing Listen by Beyonce. Now I'm a singer, so you know I killed it. Fast forward, it's time to announce the winners. So me and my coworkers standing up there laughing because we know we just wasted these people time. And the announcer gets up and says, and your 2011 Miss Leaf River Valley is, drum roll please, Geraldine Lake. Now all the lights are low and I look out into the crowd and I can see my dark skinned daddy with his bright white teeth dying laughing. And we just exchanged this look like, the moral of the story is even if you're not qualified, God can elevate you and bless you when it's your time to shine.